Welcome to the Pullman Arena in Takanini for the third match of round nine. It was the Stars hosting the Magic and in the end Anna Harrison, the Stars, they led from start to finish 61-55. They looked assured from the first whistle. Absolutely, they looked in control that whole game, although I will give Magic some credit in that last quarter they came back and they did win that one, but it did look like Stars took control on attack and defence before yeah, the game. They've been very good for the last couple of games. Yep. Obviously the extra, extra overtime, but Mila Rulu Buchanan, she was MVP in this match. Thoroughly deserved. She's playing some great um, netball, combining beautifully with both her middies and her shooters. Oh, absolutely. And again, playing with a class player like Crampton, she doesn't shy away. She's not letting Crampton take all the ball and for even amount of feed. She works tirelessly with her, balances Crampton round. And I know that she's been working on her defence and she's getting the touches and working really well with her defensive unit. We also saw her combine for a little while there with Jamie Hume in at wing attack, but we did find out after the game that actually Gina Crampton wasn't feeling 100. So, I mean, she did so well to stay out Absolutely. on court. For the Magic, though, it wasn't all bad. I felt like they had opportunities. I felt like their attack was there, perhaps needed a little bit more on defence. But this shooting combination, one that a lot of people were talking about when they're talking about Silver Ferns, they did some very, very good stuff. Yeah, they do. And Ekinastia and Mess, they provide a real mobile, but mobile circle, but one that can also hold and take strong ball in the air. So they are definitely one to watch. They're difficult, but again, I think Stars did a really good job of upsetting their timing and their movement. And again, with the help of their front defence, just upset and took advantage of maybe those younger feeders that Magic have. Yeah, Ali Temu, Holly Fowler, again, they were very, very good in that defensive circle. And when you look at the stats, what is it that jumps out to you? Well, the turnovers converted, again, if you're chasing like Magic were most of that game, they really need to up those when they get ball, convert it. The conversion, to send a pass conversion themselves, Stars dropped a little bit in that mm. game and Magic increased. So, again, the stats don't show, paint the whole picture in terms of how the game flowed. Yeah, I certainly thought the Magic, they needed to create more turnovers so they could get more ball to their shooters because their shooters were shooting well, 93%, 83%. But for me, Maya Wilson, yet again, that volume, that accuracy, she's stepping up as captain and as her goal shoot for this side. Yeah, and we've talked about it over and over again. Her ability to hold the space is so, so strong, so clear. But it is the feeders that are looking over the hands that defenders are trying to stop them be able to see and they are getting ball to her, which is really nice to see. Yeah, no, it was the Stars day, absolutely. They've been on a roll now. Extra overtime wins, wins at home. They come away over the Magic 61-55.